Hi everyone, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Musical Mindfulness. For those of you who may have been following me on social media, you may know that it's been a pretty challenging several months for me, almost three months. I've discovered more and more that I can't take care of other people unless I take care of myself. It's a lesson we learn over and over in life, at least I do, and one that I find challenging to remember when I get busy and I just want to do instead of just be sometimes. And it's so important to be and to find that wonderful deep well of peace that we have within each one of us and to access that, to be able to find our calm, to be able to find our breath, to be able to center ourselves and be aware of what's around us and not get lost in all the stories and narratives that are going on in our heads. So today we're focusing on a piece of chamber music. I've been on a chamber music kick lately. It's a trio by Mendelssohn, his first trio in D minor, the second movement. Music has that wonderful quality of drawing us into the present by challenging us to listen to each sound as it unfolds, as it happens, as we encounter it. A wonderful way to stay grounded. So as we stay grounded in the Mendelssohn today, a few things I'd love for you to listen for. First is that there are two melodies. One is in a major key. It's gentle, long lines, long phrases, has a very particular mood and feel to it. The second melody in the middle is in the minor key. It's strident, it's a little bit more striving, has a very different atmosphere about it. So I want you to think not just how we encounter this with our ears, but how we encounter it somatically, how we experience it in our bodies physically and where and how those melodies feel. And then also to think of how these three instruments change their roles, whether they're playing the melody or the accompaniment. And somehow those roles are changed throughout the piece. Sometimes the piano can do both for itself, both the melody and the accompaniment. And to listen to those accompaniments, whether they're vertical chords or if they're arpeggiated, sort of that rippling effect and how that really changes the way we hear melodies and changes the, the larger texture of music itself. Just to remind you, I will give you prompts the first time we go through the piece and then I'll give you the entire performance of the selection without any prompts. So let's get settled into a comfortable seated upright position. Let's bring our eyes to a gentle focus somewhere in the distance. If you like to close them, that is also totally up to you. I like to keep mine closed. We're going to take a couple of deep breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Good. Now let's close our eyes if they're not closed and just focus inwards for a moment and we'll open our ears and notice what we hear right in ourselves. It could be the sound of our breath. It could be the sound of our heartbeat, of the whoosh of blood as it flows through our arteries and our veins could be our stomach gurgling like mine just did. And then reach out with our ears to what's happening right around us in the room. There's actually a bird outside of my window, so I hear that. Reaching out with our ears reaching out farther into the distance to the sound of a plane flying overhead, distant traffic, wind outside, reach your ears out 
so many sounds to listen to. And let's bring it back to ourselves and to our immediate surroundings. I hope your ears feel open and ready to listen because now we'll listen to the second movement of Mendelssohn's Trio Number no. 1 in D minor, Opus 49. So again, I'll give you a few prompts. I would love for us to really listen to both those melodies in major and minor, how we hear them, how they feel in our bodies, where we feel them, and then how the instruments change their roles between playing the melody and the accompaniment and or the accompaniment, and how those very accompaniments to a melody can change the shape and feel and atmosphere of a melody. We start immediately with that first gentle melody. The piano playing the melody and its own accompaniment. A long melody with many phrases. resolves here and it repeats the violin taking over the melody piano still with its gently undulating accompaniment the cello with its own counter melodies Feel this melody where it resonates for you. Here's the second part of that melody. Again, with the piano alone. That gently rippling accompaniment. singing melody now repeated with the violin and cello added listen to the added low notes in the piano adds a wonderful richness Feel this melody where it resonates for you. Because now, something different. A melody in the minor key, a different mood. How does this feel to you? melody how do you experience this melody does it feel different this very vertical accompaniment these repeating chords A shift so again we hear the arpeggiated chords, those rippling notes in the piano. the first 
first melody, now with the cello plucking with its pizzicato, the violin high above. How do you feel this melody? Perhaps differently than the first time you heard it? Where does it resonate for you? The singing of the violin and the cello. Reaching a crescendo. Resolution. Let's pause here and take a few deep breaths. open our eyes. Now if you'd like to end this mindfulness moment here, thanks so much for joining me. If you'd like to continue, I'm going to play the piece again with absolutely no prompts, just listening to this melody as it unfolds, as it spins forward, the wonderful singing of the strings, the wonderful rhythmic qualities of the piano that leads us into the next phrase, each phrase leading into the next, leading into the next moment. So here again is the second movement of Mendelssohn's trio in D minor.
Taking a pause here to take one more breath. Settle back into ourselves. Then slowly open our eyes and take in the room around us, the sounds around us, the scents, the smells, all senses around us. I hope you enjoy that moment of musical mindfulness. Again, that was the Mendelssohn Trio number one in D minor, opus 49, the second movement. Music is so important, I will keep stressing this. It is a great, great way to bring us back to ourselves, to create moments for ourselves, to create space for ourselves in our lives so that we have time for reflection and awareness and to just be. Sometimes it's so important to just be and not to do, not to strive, just be okay with ourselves in this moment in the present. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. I hope to put these up a little bit more regularly as uh, things calm down here at home. And so look for another one in a couple weeks. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you soon.